In 1908, Frank Phillips built a house for his wife, Jane, and what a house it is. In 1930, he used it to make a point during a half million dollar remodeling project. That was the height of the depression, but uh, he had a little business sense in it also in that he made sure it was advertised all over the country that he was spending that kind of money. And with that, where companies were going under, Frank Phillips' home uh, showed them that he must be doing well and they continued to invest in Phillips Petroleum. The Phillips home is still magnificent. The furnishings are 99% original to the home. The wood throughout the house is Philippine mahogany. Tour groups can see the tables and chairs, the sofas and the beds that the Phillips family actually used. In the library, old photographs were used to put 90% of the books in the exact order they were in when the picture was taken. A lot of work, but Jim Goss says it's worth it. So when people walk in, they hopefully get a feel of what life would have been like in the 1930s. Hopefully they understand by the time they've had the tour that these are down-home people, that they were a type of people that uh, did business but also socially interacted with everyone, that they contributed to the community through their charities, but without making it look like it was charity. Frank Phillips' life is chronicled in the Interpreted Center beside the house. You can learn about his business ventures, including banks and barber shops. You can learn about his close relationships with Native Americans. All in all, the Phillips home is an historical portrait of a family who helped Bartlesville grow and prosper.